Hello students and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn about RCC cantilever balcony with edge beam. This is a part of your exam. An exam question can be asked on draw reinforcement details for cantilever beam balcony with edge beam. Draw plan and section showing the reinforcement. So let us go to the video and let us see how to solve this question. Hello students and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn about RCC balconies. So here in front of you is a sketch of a RCC balcony which is going to be a cantilever beam balcony with edge beam. Now what does that mean? Let us try to go into the sketch and try to see the details. Now this sketch shows a room which is bounded by the columns C1, C2, C3 and C4. And to this room on one side there is a balcony which you can see here. This balcony consists of cantilever beams which are coming out from column C1. This is CB1, this is one cantilever beam and there is a, another cantilever beam CB2. Connecting the cantilever beams or supported by the cantilever beams is an edge beam which is beam B3. This B3 is not a cantilever but it is a simply supported beam supported by the two cantilever beams CB1 and CB2. Slab of the balcony is spanning along the shorter distance along beam B3 and B4 as you can see. The main reinforcement in this balcony slab has been shown in this red colored reinforcement. So the reinforcement is running along the shorter span and at right angles to this reinforcement what has been shown in the green color is the distribution reinforcement which is at right angles to the main reinforcement. Now the main reinforcement in the slab which is along the shorter span alternate bars of this main reinforcement are bent up near the support at an angle of 45 degrees as you can see. This the reason for bending these bars up at 45 degrees near the support is to resist a shear created near the junction of the beam and the slab. If we take a section through this particular slab and look at it, what you can see is something like this. The sizes of the slab, that is the thickness of the slab and the width of the beam have been slightly exaggerated to show the reinforcement properly. Now what you will see is that when the section is passing through this particular slab here, you will see that the main reinforcement as we saw is shown by this red colored reinforcement and the alternate bars are bent up at 45 degrees. So you can see one bar here and the alternate bar is shown in the dotted line here. So this is the alternate bar. Running at right angles to this reinforcement is the distribution steel which can be seen in the green color. So this particular slab is the balcony slab which is a one way slab which is spanning between beams B3 and B4. The slab which is shown at the back side here is the slab of the room. This slab is a two way slab which has got reinforcement that is the main reinforcement running in both directions along the longer span and along the shorter span. Of course in the same way as we saw in the balcony slab the reinforcement in this slab is also bent up near the support to take the shear and also to resist the negative bending moment created near the support. So both these reinforcement you will see our main reinforcement in this slab 
since it is a two-way slab. If this was a one-way slab, then possibly one of these two reinforcements would be the distribution steel. So that is seen again in this section. So if we read the label in this section, what we will see is that the red colored reinforcement, which you can see here, is the main reinforcement in the balcony along the shorter span. The green colored reinforcement is the distribution reinforcement along the longer span or at right angles to the main reinforcement. In the slab which is behind it, you will see the red colored reinforcement seen here is the main reinforcement along the longer span, while as the circles or the dots which you see at right angles to this reinforcement is the main reinforcement in the slab in the shorter span since this is a two-way slab. You can also see that the bars are bent up at an angle of 40 45 degrees near the support. These bars are going to be alternate bent up means that one bar will be bent up on this side and the alternate bar will be bent up on the right hand side here. You can also see the reinforcement in the beam. You know that for a simply supported beam, the main reinforcement is going to be at the bottom. So these three bars are indicating the main reinforcement in the beam. At the top of the beam, you can see these two bars which are called as the anchor bars, which are used to tie the stirrups. In the center here, what you can see is are the stirrups, which are used to adjust the shear in the beam. So this is how we will be looking at the reinforcement details of the first type of balcony which we have learned and that is the cantilever beam bal balcony with the edge beam. So here we are having these cantilever beams and the edge beam. We will now learn further about the second type of balcony in the next video. Thank you.